Hi friends, Pastor Doug Batchelor here. I'd like to give you just a little bit of a prophecy news update. Uh, it is looking more and more like the Pope plans to introduce Sunday laws cloaked as an environmental emergency. And uh, we've seen this, it first came out with his encyclical that he wrote in 2015 called Laudato Se, where it was talking about the necessity to rescue the environment. And uh, in that he makes several references to the Sabbath. Matter of fact, I'll quote from that right now. And the encyclical is like 40,000 words and it's itemized in paragraphs. Paragraph 71, the biblical tradition clearly shows that this renewal entails recovering and respecting the rhythms inscribed in nature and by the hand of the Creator. We see this, for example, in the law of the Sabbath on the seventh day. God rested from all his work. He commanded Israel to set aside the seventh day as a day of rest, a Sabbath. Similarly, every seven years, there was a sabbatical year that was set aside for Israel. Then you go to uh, paragraph 237. On Sunday, our participation in the Eucharist has a special importance. Sunday, like the Jewish Sabbath, is meant to be a day, now he noticed he said the Jewish Sabbath, it was a law. Sunday, like the Jewish Sabbath, is meant to be a day which heals our relationships with God, with ourselves, with others, and note this, with the world. So he's saying it's Sunday that will heal our relationships with the world. It's the environment. Sunday is the day of the resurrection, the first day of the new creation, whose first fruits are the Lord's risen humanity, the pledge of the final transfiguration of all created reality. It also proclaims man's eternal rest in God. The law, there's that word again. In fact, the word law appears about 20 times in this section of the letter. It proclaims man's eternal rest in God, the law of weekly rest forbade work on the seventh day. And of course, they say, well, Sunday is every seventh day. Even now we are journeying towards the Sabbath of eternity, the new Jerusalem towards our common home in heaven. Jesus said, I make all things new. And that's paragraph 243 in his encyclical, Laudato Se. And you go to uh, paragraph 211. Yet this education, now the reason I mention that is because the Pope uh, he said back, uh, oh, about a year ago, that he was calling the world leaders to the Vatican for a special compact on education of the world. And uh, that was postponed and rescheduled for October. I think it's the 11th through the 17th because of the pandemic. But as far as I know, that is still on. And whether they do some of it by Zoom conferencing or people are going to come in person still remains to be seen but he's calling together the leaders of the world. Now, just this week, uh, today is the 3rd of September. On September 1st, Vatican, New York Times, Associated Press, here's the headlines in the religious section. The Pope is using the pandemic to give the environment vital rest. And of course, rest is the hallmark of this whole Sabbath issue. Um, the COVID-19 pandemic has shown the earth that it can recover if we allow it to rest. And we must spur the people to adopt simpler lifestyles to help the planet groaning under the constant demand for economic growth, Pope Francis said Tuesday. In his latest urgent appeal to help a fragile environment, Francis also renewed his call for the cancellation of debts of the most vulnerable countries. That's how you get the poor of the world, which is most of the world, on your side. Say, I'm telling the rich to cancel all your debts. Such action would be just, he said, since the rich countries have exploited poorer nations, their natural resources. In some ways, the current pandemic has led us to rediscover simpler and sustainable lifestyles, Francis said in a written message. Already we can see how the earth can recover if we allow it to rest. Now, you may have heard my uh, a post that I did, I guess a couple of months ago, on a growing chorus of voices that are calling for Sunday laws. Leading periodicals and speakers around the world are saying something we're learning from the pandemic is it may be a good idea for us to once again institute uh, a mandated weekly rest. They say if we don't make a law out of it, companies wanting to exploit, you know, the economy will go seven days a week. We've got to make a law that everyone needs to rest and the day they're going to pick is Sunday. And this has been in the Pope's thinking for some time. People, and he goes on and says, the whole creation is groaning under the weight of what's happening. Citing the medical, social, and economic crisis triggered by the pandemic, Francis said it was time for restorative justice. 
Drawing attention to the Earth's fragility is a hallmark of Francis's papacy. He poignantly stressed people's pressing responsibilities to heal and care for the environment in a 2015 encyclical. And, um, you know, the Pope is saying, when we look at what's going on in the world now, the air has become cleaner during the pandemic, which is true. The water's cleaner, there's less traveling in the water. The animals have returned in many places from where they had previously disappeared. Some of the rush of traffic has made it more acceptable to birds and animals. The pandemic has brought us to a crossroads, he says. This is urgent. And uh, I just think he's paving the way for something that may be introduced in his talk in uh, March. And so he draws attention again to his environmental encyclical he wrote in 2015. This is in the New York Times uh, article. The pontiff issued his appeal. This appeal was made uh, on Tuesday to mark the World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation, an annual occasion that was established uh, for, for Christians, he's saying all Christians everywhere, in the wake of the encyclical Laudato Se, his declaration, we must save the environment. So, uh, you know, I think this is very interesting. And then, of course, the Pope now has this global pact on education. And it's not limited to educational and academic institutions, but rather in the belief that commitment to education must be shared by all. It involves representatives of religions, international bodies, and the various humanitarian institutions of the academic, economic, political, and cultural world. Uh, everybody who is anybody is being invited to this summit to engage in how to re-educate the world to save the environment. And I'm almost certain, based on what he said so far, he's going to be in favor of a Sunday law, among other things, to say, we've just got to do something. We've got to take some concrete steps, let the planet rest. The pandemic has taught us every seventh day. And, uh, you know, this is something. It's not going to come under a guise of religion. It doesn't matter if you're a Buddhist, a Hindu, if you're a, a, a Taoist or a Christian or Muslim. Everyone lives on the planet. He's going to say we all must get behind this, these Sunday laws to rest the environment. In fact, even as recently as today, the Pope issued another statement referring to his encyclical, and he said the Catholic Church is fully committed to protect our common home. This is a drum that he continues to beat, and uh, he says, uh, in order for us to have a new planet and to save the environment, we must have new humans. That's a rough paraphrase of what the Pope said today. So uh, this is near and dear to his heart, and he is consistently pushing that we must save the environment, and I expect that uh, a Sunday law is going to be part of that. So friends, brace for impact. Stay tuned. Uh, it's coming. Just stay close to Jesus and keep studying his word. Oh, by the way, before you sign off, Amazing Facts is having a special prophecy seminar. We're going to talk about this and much more, and it's coming October 23 through November 14. It's called Revelation Now, and what a great time to sign up for uh, a, re a revelation program. Anybody in the world, if you get, if you have the internet, if you watch 3ABN, Amazing Facts TV, uh, YouTube, we're going to be doing the Revelation Now program. Matter of fact, I think they've got a way that we're going to have a link right here on this post. You can click, go to the website, and join, sign up your group. It's all free. You can do evangelism and win souls in these last days, and it's free.